Run down to right, and now they are all running. So I think this is going to end very badly for this guy. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. Once again, we are having to shift our forces somewhat quickly. What is the enemy doing? Yeah, I was moving my troops over here to face them because I thought they might come from this direction. But no, it appears that they are actually going to take up a defensive position rather than come out to fight us. Uh, which means we need to actually turn around. <laughs> They're definitely moving more in a... Like, to take one of these hills rather than... Rather than starting off on their initial hill. So, turn around. Everyone turn around. Alright, so it looks like they're going to take a position all the way back here. Interesting choice. Like, if they had free reign of the battlefield, then I would actually go up here. Though, admittedly, my forces are quite nearby, so maybe they want to avoid that. Still, this is interesting, though. If they're going to take up a defensive position and not come out to fight us, we might be able to move within Manganel range and just bombard them for a bit before then having to, you know, move in and attack them ourselves. All right, have our troops gotten into position? They have. All right, but anyway, I guess um, basically it looks like we're just going to kind of move to and fro. I'm not sure when exactly we're going to come to grips with the enemy as we maneuver for position here. So I will just let you guys go now, and I will bring you back uh, once the battle has started. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. Or welcome back to the battle. So I guess we haven't seen any fighting yet, or at least you guys have not. And again, I don't think I have either, So, because I, I, I guess bombarding the enemy with mangonels while they sit there and wait is not really a battle so much as it is target practice. So the mangonels have fired every one of their shots, and as you can see, we actually did do a decent amount of damage to their front line and a bit to their cavalry as well. We were actually targeting the cavalry, but I swear we hit the infantry a lot more. To be fair, there are a lot more of them. So here's here's the plan. They have all of their archers, well, all their infantry, which is basically archers anyways, right here in the center with their heavy cavalry behind them. On this flank, they have three units of cavalry archers, and over there they have one. What I've done is the cavalry is going to charge over here. Well, not charge, but <laughs> right now everyone's walking. We'll charge once we get within range. We're going to charge and try and turn this flank, basically routing the archers over here and trying to get the cavalry behind like their cavalry. The infantry, meanwhile, are almost all going to charge over here and engage their line here. And to deal with these guys, we've got two units of infantry kind of here to screen the archers who are going to form up in loose formation behind them and shoot them, since we have no unit that could really catch them anyway. So we need to catch them with arrows. This does mean that this unit is kind of free to do what it wants, but honestly, I don't have a lot of answer to that, at least not yet. Hopefully just letting one unit of cavalry archers do what they want will not adversely affect the battle. Oh, and this is the Manganel crews. I don't want them to sit back here, to be honest, because I could easily see like cavalry archers like trying to get them. So I'm just going to have them kind of sit at the bottom of this hill, not engaging in the battle, but just kind of standing behind it so that like the enemy can't just, you know, ignore me and just go for them and kill all of them. So anyway, I paused just because I had a lot to explain there, so we are now going to be getting... Oh, and the enemy is coming forward already. That's a little unfortunate. Um, I guess you guys stay here then. Of course, they would immediately def just destroy my oh-so-well-laid plans. All right, cavalry... You guys 
peel off to the side there, because I can see you're just going to disrupt the infantry a fair bit. All right, you guys charge in there. Just charge them. You're already basically on top of them. All right, actually, you get over here. Right, you infantry, charge forward. These spearmen over here. Yeah, you guys just fire where you are. Victory will be ours. Here, you guys actually form up over there, and then you guys form up in front of them, facing the enemy. All right, those foot archers are retreating. Just turn around then, ignore them. But you guys get in there. You guys fighting, you are, and you're getting toasted because you are fighting the... Oh. You guys hurry up and fire on them. You guys also hurry up and fire on them. Great. Right. Cavalry, get over here. They really messed up my plan here. Get behind them so that we can kill them. Let's see, there's a spearman unit. Oh, okay, these two spearman units, yes, are not really doing much. All right, you get over here and screen the archers from this side. You get over here and screen the... Continue to screen them from this side. Fire there, very good. All right, it looks like our cavalry have all been freed up, so all of you get back behind them here. Ignore those guys for now. I know you're winded, but hurry it up. Oh, you guys are free. So get in there and help out your comrades over there. Let's get these guys charging in over here. Get these guys charging up here. You guys charge into the rear over there. You guys fire on them now, because it looks like the other unit is being pretty badly defeated. Here, catch those Mongol foot archers. Charge, charge, charge. Everyone, charge in and kill everyone you can find here. Oh, where are those guys going? Okay, honestly, you guys can get over here now, and you guys can get over here. Because I think the archers... Yeah, the archers have basically defeated their cavalry archers on that side, so we don't need to worry about them. Our general lies slain upon the battle. No! Philip is dead! Oh. Nope, get over here. Get over here. Keep chasing them. Okay, those are Mongol heavy archers. Oh, we've lost... Oh, we've lost a lot of our infantry. All right, you guys get over here. Okay, you guys get over here, intercept those guys. I think the enemy is actually withdrawing, retreating right now, but... Um, you guys stop firing at will. Right, yes, we can catch those Mongol foot archers. Um, I guess we're just gonna let them go. See, those are our own Hospitaller sergeants. Oh, those guys are not retreating. Spearmen! Get in there. Oh, wait. Was that the ones we caught before and they just didn't just manage to disengage themselves? Yeah, that is exactly what's going on there. All right. Archers, get over here then. Yeah, you see, they keep coming back and coming back and coming back. What are you guys doing over here? Oh, the bodyguard is coming back. Um... Get over here. Okay, the archers can now fire on them. That is fine. Let's get the sergeants over here. 
All right. Now, where did that bodyguard go? Okay, they're still here. If we remain true and the enemy general sees, like the coward he is. You know, kill, kill, kill! Break the city of his army. Oh, you see, they still managed to catch my mangonels, even with all the careful moving around that I had them do. All right now they're routing. Of course, we didn't kill the general. Or, oh no, that was my own general. That was King Philip. Where are these guys, Mongol foot archers? All right, get over there and kill them. You guys get over there and kill them. Did you kill the uh, horse archers? Yeah, you killed most of them. The last three are certainly standing and fighting to the death, aren't they? You guys, get over there, intercept them. Um, I guess you can just chase them off the battlefield. Those are my sergeants. Some heavy archers over there. Oh, come on! Seriously, what the freaking hell? Where where did my sergeants go? This is what I mean. Somehow they're able to just always get in amongst my men, even though I'm pretty sure I've already told units to engage them. But I guess not, because everyone seems to be running in a different direction. Right, I guess I do have my archers firing on them now. Oh, did they rout and then I told the guys that were fighting them to go somewhere else? <laughs> I guess that's possible. I hadn't considered that. All right, where be the enemy? I guess there's a bit of enemy force over there that is being pursued off the battlefield. Oh, my archers have stopped firing. Which means they must have killed those guys, so I'm now going to tell them to fire at will so that they can finish off. Ah, okay. So there were infantry archers up here as well. I imagine we killed all of the cavalry archers. We are under the enemy flees the battle. Run down to right, and now they are all running. So I think this is going to end very badly for this guy. Yep, that's the end. But oh, his majesty, King Philip of France is dead! Ah, that is unfortunate. What a loss there at the end, or near the end of the campaign. <sighs> Casualties were quite severe, as one might imagine. The Manganels did very well, and they actually took significant casualties, or this one unit took significant casualties. Because, of course, they still managed to chase them around. Uh, I guess the archers did decently well. They definitely took fire in return, that's for sure. The sergeants, like, a couple of our units got obliterated, quite frankly. And even the ones that weren't obliterated, you see, it's the same sort of deal as last battle, where they took more casualties than they inflicted. Sometimes, oh wait, except for this unit here. But, um, yeah, generally speaking, they they don't seem to do very well. They seem to either give as good as they got. I guess it's close. It's close enough, I guess, that it's almost even. Cavalry did quite well. In fact, I don't... Yeah, they didn't take nearly the casualties they did last time, but I, I don't think we relied on them as heavily to deal with frontline combat. We hardly caught any prisoners, so all of those casualties we inflicted are, are kills rather than prisoners caught. But of course we lost his majesty. King Philip is dead. Ah, that is a heavy blow. All right, but anyway, let's take this back to the campaign map.